where to barrel race and the other nieces and I are going to be barrel racing. And Hannah wanted to tell you guys what she wants to do when she grows up. You want to barrel race when you grow up? Yeah. Yeah? And do you want a fast horse? Yeah. Really fast? Well, what kind of rodeo, uh, horse shows and stuff do you want to do? Do you want to do horse shows and rodeos? What do you have to do to get there? put in a lot of practice, don't you? Time management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl. You got it, don't you? You gonna cheer for us today? Yeah. You're gonna be the loudest one, right? Okay, so we're here with Haley, and we're going to talk about her and Brandy's exhibition. They just completed it. So go ahead and tell me uh, how you felt about that. Well, I felt pretty good. Uh, first was great. Um, she's diving a little bit on the second, so I'm going to have to push past it a little bit. But other than that, it was good. So they're going to be competing today later on. Um, she's going to be in the open and the youth, I believe. I'm not sure if you're going to be running poles today. No, I decided to just focus on the barrels. Focus on the barrels? Well, stay tuned as we will give you a real-time updates. See you guys soon. weekend we were third in the 1d and today we're in murphy and i'm super excited uh kind of the same setup bigger pin uh different ground but still great ground um so i'm gonna be running him in the adult i decided to give him a little bit of time off and just run him once today um since he did great last weekend uh turner is gonna be running twice today he is gonna be in the open and the adult his exhibition went really well, um, like you noticed last week on the channel. I was working on controlling his rib cage and his shoulder, tipping his nose in a bit, and he seemed really responsive to that during our exhibition. So I am excited and looking forward to our open run, and we'll update you uh, after that and before Triggers run. See you soon.
guys, we are in Murphy at the Barrel Race. Um, if you watched the video earlier about the inspiring uh, little barrel racer, Hannah, um, I'm here with Allie and we just competed or completed our exhibitions. And Allie's gonna tell you how her and Sweet Pea did. I think that we could have slowed it down and got it better and like more controlled because she gets too high for her. So in our run, I'm hoping to Raid her at first and then push to second. Hopefully, we can get around it this time so we've been having trouble with second. And then go to third and just hopefully hang on because she really whips around with her. Well, we've got the plan together. She has been really working hard, her and Sweet Pea. She trains Sweet Pea, so um, they just improve every single show. And stay tuned to find out how they do today here at the Battle Lines Pearl Race in Murphy. decisions and uh, I think that's gonna be a really good one so today was a little bit of a tough day for me um, I opted in to run Turner first out you guys have been following on the channel so you know um, the situation with him uh, 
We landed a great run. Uh, we didn't keep all the barrels up. We got first, second, and third was our issue this go around. But it was a huge win in our book because it was a, a smooth run. It feels like we're connecting and uh, getting the getting the pattern down right. But unfortunately, guys, uh, we came out of the arena and he was hurt pretty bad. He was limping. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do. Alyssa was uh, running very shortly after me. I was number 16. She was number 19. So I got him over to the side, got his boots off, loosened his saddle, and then focused on Alyssa's run. Um, and then we got back to Turner and got him over to the trailer, and he needed some attention. So um, shortly after that, we wrapped it up for the day, and we caught a couple of vets. He's going to be seen by a vet on Monday. Um, came home, and luckily I have an amazing support system. These girls, my dad, everybody involved is absolutely amazing. We did water therapy. He's got ligament uh, stuff on right now. He had his back on track boots. He's got his magnetic blanket. Um, he's had all of that. Um, but I, I want to express to you girls and guys out there that it's not always rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes it's a really difficult time and uh, you just have to keep trying and you have to know what to do when something like that comes up. So, uh, Turner is on the path of rehabilitation. He's going to be just fine. We're going to get that worked out. Uh, but because of the stress I was feeling with Turner, I felt like it was a good time to turn out on Trigger. Um, and I wanted to keep Trigger safe and in my pocket, you know, he's the boss man. He kind of makes the whole plan for everybody. So, um, I got a big show coming up with him, and I didn't want to risk him uh, not saying anything about the ground, but it just wasn't Turner's best friend uh, today. So, um, stay tuned, and we'll definitely let you know on how he's healing up and doing good. So, Haley wasn't able to uh, hang out with us after the math, but I did want to give you guys an update on her. She and Brandy did exceptionally well. They landed in the 3D, and we are all so proud of her. Hi guys, still sitting here today, so that means I didn't get hit by a semi-truck. So, so we know how to drive on the interstate. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Wayne. But you, but you have the option to rest. 